Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday night and I'm sitting here in my chair in the makeup slash bag slash jewelry fragrance room. <sighs> I just got home from dinner and drinks with my friends and I had a great, 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 amazing time. And I wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my chevron statement bag so i was like okay i came home and i did you, did you ever do this like when you get ready to go out you make a disaster of your area i don't care if it's a closet a bathroom whatever there was pieces that i have recently purchased things i haven't worn in a while and getting ready tonight i was like all right i want to do something different i made a mess so i was like i came home let me grab a drink and go into the room and organize and i really wanted to make that video of the chevron statement but then i was looking at my jewelry going to take it off and clean it and i was like oh my god i have to do the Van Cleef video because I'll tell you why. First of all, <laughs> welcome back. I'm freaking exhausted. Oh, I had a beautiful meal tonight. I went out with my girlfriends and it was so wonderful. I have to show you what my one friend got me. She, all right, let's show you now. All right, if you are new to my channel, I love to talk about luxury stuff. I love to ramble. I love to talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking. And I love jewelry, is a passion of mine, fine jewelry, luxury goods. So, oh my God, is this luxury candy I'm ready to show you? So my girlfriend went to Canada and look how nice she is. I'm like, oh, can you pick me up a coffee crisp? Because it's my favorite candy. You know, have you guys ever seen this coffee crisp? It's amazing. So this is what she comes back with. Yeah, lots of candy. And I am on a ketogenic diet. I'm doing low carb, so I am sugar free. And so tempted by this stuff. Look how much candy she got me. Like, look at this stuff. Oh, and there's another bag in the other room because my husband was digging in it. Um, I did share with the group. I did share some of this. Um, let me know your favorite candy, guys. Even if you live in like Venezuela or I want to know what your favorite candy is. In the States, our candy is kind of, I never had this one before. Mr. Big, yeah, that's a big guy. Anyway, that was really generous. I thought she was going to give me like two candy bars and yeah. She's like, well, I'm not going back to Canada for a while. So yeah, she, you know, all I want to do is stay home for the rest of the week and eat candy, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go to yoga tomorrow and you can't eat candy before you go to yoga, right? Anyway, I do low carb, like you care. Okay, so I was like, all right, I gotta clean. And here's why I'm making this video. Van Cleef is about to raise prices again. They've been doing this weird strategy where they've been roller coastering their prices a little bit like Cartier. They're both owned by Richemont, so yeah. So Cartier on the 28th of September is having a price increase of 6%. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I get a lot of private messages on what is my favorite Van Cleef piece. Would I choose Van Cleef over Cartier? You know, what do I like? What do I think is good? So I want to focus right now on Van Cleef. And first of all, get comfortable. Let's not rush this. Get cozy, get a drink, and put your earphones on. A couple of things. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, I appreciate it. And those of you who shopped in person with my sales associate for the Barney's gift bag event, my sales associate said you guys were amazing. She had so much fun shopping with you, and she really enjoyed that you um, visited the store. So I'm glad you guys really like that and i will be bringing you some more events do you believe madonna is coming out with a skincare line so that is coming to barney's and i have to get some pieces to review i mean madonna i was just singing madonna i was just coming in my room and i was singing get into the groove yes 80s girl anyway van cleef is having a price increase and man they know how to get you don't they so now the things that were in my head, I was, I bought a Chanel bag. I bought a Chanel card holder. I did a bad thing. I bought another card holder that sh I should get in a day or so. And I'm like, I need to get my jewelry wish lists items. So 
I get asked all the time if there's one thing in Van Cleef that I would start out with, what would it be? And I'm going to tell you what my first piece was. So this is also the, I cut, okay, here's the jewelry of the day. I am wearing a Cartier Love, a Cartier Ju, Juste en Clou, and the Cartier Love Ring with three diamonds, and the Cartier Pave um, tipped Juste en Clou ring. I did try on the new Cartier All Pave ring, and it is beautiful but I like to wear a lot of jewelry and it was too overwhelming. So I like the pieces with diamonds and without. The pave pieces in Cartier are beautiful, but they're standalone pieces and hard to stack for me and my style. So let's focus back on Van Cleef, which is a great way to tie into Cartier because you can wear both. So the piece I started my collection was the Alhambra. And I love this because it's so iconic. It's made beautifully and impeccably. It is gorgeous. And I love link bracelets. I did not wear much VCA during the spring and summer months because when it's humid and hot, my hands, I don't like to wear stuff. I don't like like, honestly, I've been wearing Hermes bangles, as you know. But once the cool weather hits, I pull out my VCA. So this is a great starter piece. So this is the vintage size motif. So let's talk about what the Alhambra pieces are. You have a pendant, which I do not have, and it is a 16-inch chain, and they can lengthen it for you, and you can have your... Um, your vintage motif this is the vintage size when I say vintage this is the original size that was made in 1969 that Grace Kelly wore they also make a smaller size and it's really minute it's it's cute it's definitely not for me I'm too robust <laughs> to wear this sweet size um, but it is really cute and then they also make a larger size which is called the magic and that is beautiful and they have pendants in that they also have 10 motif necklaces that are around 16 inches you can lengthen and they also have 20 motif necklaces but i like jewelry that i can see i love my rings and i love my bracelets so i think a bracelet is a great way to get into the brand the price point is oddly reasonable because Van Cleef also does ear clips in the vintage size and in the other two sizes the sweet and the magic but for the price that you pay the bracelet is the way to go I mean the chain links I have it in mother of pearl turquoise and onyx and um I will, I'm just showing you the onyx. I need to buff it out. I have a little Van Cleef Michael Jackson glove. Isn't that cute? So the what I love about the onyx is that I'm really fair. Actually, this, this onyx looks good on every skin tone. And you can stack your bracelet. So the bracelet is a great way. This was my first ever purchase. This is the piece that I always wanted from Van Cleef. And I was so excited to get. It's a great way. You can also, when you decide to get a 10 motif or a 20 motif necklace, you can also link them together to make your bracelet um, and your necklace to make your necklace even longer. You can wrap two um, bracelets together and wrap them around your wrist. They look really cool. It's very Coco Chanel with the, um, the Mother of Pearl and the Onyx. So I say grab yourself a bracelet. And whatever stone you choose is a stone that will sing to you. So if you're not in a boutique or not near a boutique, look at the stones online. Google um, Van Cleef Alhambra and you will see there's so many beautiful combinations. I went with a little bit more. I love that Coco Chanel. I love black, gray, white. There's also Van Cleef Anniversary coming up. So there's going to be some special pieces that I'm so excited. I hope they make a gray mother of pearl and I hope they make an alternate diamond and stone so whatever stone you choose I say get it in a bracelet if you're a bracelet person if you can't stand anything on your wrist or you can't deal with anything like you don't like bracelets don't go for bracelets but I always say go for bracelets I because I like them and the price I think oh my gosh so the price for the bracelet was up one time the regular stone now the white gold is always going to be a little bit more and some uh, like malachite the beautiful vibrant green is always going to be a little bit more but the onyx and the mother pearl 
I think they were 4,300 and then they went down to 3,750 and they'll probably just go right back up to 4,000 or something like that. So it's, it's an investment to, to get jewelry, but for me, jewelry is so much worth it. Just, it's worth it over bags. I, I love my jewelry and I, I will have it forever. Whereas bags, I feel like they're not going to last or I'm just not going to have them forever. So the mother of pearl is probably one of the most, um, I wouldn't say it's the best seller in Van Cleef because it is the modern way to wear pearls and it's pretty. It goes with every skin tone. I don't like to wear mine alone because I'm really fair skinned and I'll show you how it looks on me. Uh, it doesn't pop as much as the Onyx. So grab yourself a bracelet. Ugh. I love my mother of pearl. You can't see in this light, but mine has a real iridescent finish and it has a lot of pink. It flashes really pretty colors, so it, it it's just so elegant. The story is so feminine, and when I want to feel really girly, like I have my Cartier, which is real industrial, it's really cool, and then when I want to feel feminine, I have my, my Van Cleef hand. So I'm going to show you another bracelet that I got, and I did a bad thing. I bought it, I only wore it once to dinner, and I haven't worn it, but now that I know the price increase is here, it makes me want to take it out and wear it. I'm going to put it on right now. And this is the Signature Perlet. So I believe what my sales associate told me is that all of the lines were going up, not just the Alhambra, but the Frivol is going up, the Perlet is going up, and then I had a thin Perlet um, on my list to get. Now I feel forced to get it at a cheaper price. But that is a signature bangle. So if you're wanting to commit to a nice bangle and you don't want to wear the love bracelet because you can't take it on and off. Uh, okay, so another question is people ask me how I take my love bracelet off. So as you can see, my hands are smaller and my wrist is a little chubby, right? So I'm able to take my slide, my love bracelet on and off. It's a little tight. If I do it underwater, it comes right off. If it's not humid out, it slides off in the winter. So if you don't want to be committed to wearing a bracelet 24-7, I don't wear my love 24-7. In fact, sometimes I don't wear it for weeks or months. Um, but most people do wear it fitted and they do wear their love bracelet. But if you don't, the Signature Perlet is a beautiful way to get a gorgeous bracelet that comes on and off. And I know this is not a piece that you're gonna see everywhere because just like with a speedy bandolier, just with a jumbo flap, you're gonna see the more traditional things where people wanna buy things that the brand makes that are easily recognized. So everybody thinks of um, Louis Vuitton and they think of Speedy B, Speedy. You think of um, Hermes and you think of Burke and Kelly. You think of Chanel and you think of medium, large or jumbo. Okay, so with the, oh, I freaking hate the medium, large. All right, I still can't get over people trying to get the medium, large on me. Anyway, so, <laughs> and yes, I do sit here and polish my freaking jewelry all the time. I love it. It makes me happy. I will do a jewelry cleaning video for you guys sometime, but why not? The prices are not cheap. This is an investment for your life. Remember, it's not a financial investment. No way. This is an investment in happiness and prettiness. It's not a financial investment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a video or Chanel bags investments and they are not. Sorry. All right, back to the jewelry. Sorry, guys, I'm dragging here. Ugh. All right, if you want a beautiful piece of jewelry, I love this bracelet, and I bought it in the summer when I don't like to wear a lot of jewelry, but I am going to start wearing this a lot. This will be my signature bracelet, and that's what it's called. It's called the Signature so it has the Van Cleef um, stamping in it, but if you're not somebody who likes logos and brand, it's very faint, you really can't see. That kept me away from the bracelet for a long time, but I like it. So, and it even looks nice stacked, so that's another thing I suggest. But if you wanna go with Iconic and you want everyone to know that you have a pair of, <laughs> if you have VCA, when I wore this bracelet, which I only wore it once, but nobody knows what it is. It's so under the radar. In fact, when I wear this, nobody knows what this is. They're just like, this looks pretty, what is it? Like I said in other videos, people think this is Kate Spade jewelry and I'm really okay with people thinking this is costume jewelry. So this is a great way to get into the brand. 
pick your stone combination if you want to get an ear clip even if you want to get a pendant you can get the sweet is the smaller size the sweet alhambra so here is the motif of the vintage and i'm sorry guys if this is all over the place um it is i'm a little like frazzled i have a cat trying to come in here all right so here is the size of the vintage and it's the same size as the, the small frivole and the small sweet is even smaller wow the small sweet is really really tiny i've tried it on so many times and it doesn't look good on me but if you're i feel like if you stack a lot of um pieces or you're petite it looks really good on petite ladies i feel like if you're more full figured i got some big ass boobs it just it doesn't look good so these are the Alhambra pieces. The another line that is my favorite. I don't know which I love more, Perlet or Frivol. Oh, Frivol ring, you need a little polishing, is the Frivol. And um, I'm thinking to get the small earrings because I think I did a whole review on Frivol and I showed the earrings, the large arc ear clips. But now I'm thinking of the small ones because I think they're cute for every day. I have so much on my wish list and what sucks about it is they're all going to come out with all the new pieces that I want are going to come out at the higher at a higher price. So wow, what do I do? What do I buy? And I'm usually somebody who's like, no, don't go for it just because it's increasing. No, no, no. But I feel like there's things that I, I wanted to buy around the holidays that I might just take the plunge now and get. So this is also another line that's really pretty and that's the Freevol. So if you are wanting, if you're a Cartier fan and you like your Chanel, your Hermes and your Louis Vuitton and you are like a little confused about Van Cleef, if you're near a boutique, go try on different stone combinations. You will find something that speaks to you. If you're not, you can always call a sales associate and if you need one, PM me. I will give you mine who's fabulous. But there's so many stones. There's malachite, which is a beautiful deep green. There's tiger eye, which is this really neutral, warm leaning stone. Um, there's carnelian, which can vary from an orange to a deep, vibrant red. Turquoise, which is impossible to find right now. Um, there's lapis in um, Paris. Oh, what other stones are out there? Oh, wow, wow, wow gray mother pearl which i hope comes out there's just so many stone combinations and i love van cleef because everything goes really well together everything pairs and layers so nice maybe that's one of the dangers of the brand so my suggestion start with a bracelet if you love earrings start with earrings another thing that people start out with is a simple pendant i love the 10 motif and the 20 motif long necklaces um, but a simple pendant sometimes just looks so elegant and that would just be a chain. Van Cleef's chain is really, really pretty. It's, it's a box chain. It's beautiful. Sometimes they vary their chain. They will change up the chain. In fact, I have another piece and the chain's a little different from these two and it's beautiful. I mean, you can just get a single pendant and I say go for it right now. If if only if that was on your wish list. Like don't buy something if it wasn't on your wish list. So, I hope this video helped. I'm going to start wearing my perlet when it comes fall, but I'm not going to wear it like this cuz I don't like it with the other pieces. I like it with the juste en clue. I just don't like it with the love. Let's see how it looks if I hide hide my love and just have those two. Yeah. I like that. I I don't like the love with it. See, the love's peeking out. I don't like the love with it. I think the Juste en Clou looks really pretty with it. And I want some diamonds. Boo-hoo. Okay, guys. So next video coming up will be Chevron Statement versus Jumbo. The size differences, the materials, the construction, what, you, what it holds, etc., etc. So... I hope this helped you. I hope this enabled you if you were on the fence. And remember, guys, we're not going for the small fixes. We're going for the big purchases. So if you are wanting to get something and treat yourself to a beautiful Van Cleef piece, here we go. Get something and enjoy. <sighs> oh, I wanted to say, did anybody see the movie Mother? Oh, my God. I went to see that the other night, and that was so disappointing. I love Jennifer Lawrence. 
I love Darren. What the hell is his last name? The director. I I love these people. The movie sucked so bad. I'm about to wash my paint, my face paint off. I know you probably suck glimpses of me. Here's my hair. Do you like my hair? Anyway, I'm about to wash my face paint off, and I'm going to watch the movie Moonlight because it's one of my favorite movies, and I feel like crying. I know. I'm weird. Anyway, okay. I hope you enjoy the video. Leave me any questions, any comments, and please let me know what's your favorite candy. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know the candies of the world and what Van Cleef piece, if any, and even if you're a guy, what Van Cleef piece do you like? Do you have a Van Cleef wish list? Do you have a Cartier wish list? Let me know. I'm curious. Give me ideas, guys. Maybe I am thinking in just one thing and I need to think about something else from Van Cleef. So does anybody have any Van Cleef wish list items that you want to get? Please, let's enable each other. Okay. I will be back shortly. Bye-bye.